pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. everyone and welcome to the February 18, 2015 meeting of the Patchwork Village Zoning Board of Appeals. Uh, the first item tonight that we're going to do is our decision calendar. Uh, first <coughs> item on that calendar, the only item on that calendar that I know of, is 1502 Ministerial <coughs> Mr. Vientes, 147 Waverly Avenue, six permission to open a church with an occupancy of approximately 30 people requiring a special permit. 435 15 subject premises are located in the D1 business zone. May I have a motion on this application, Mr. Kearns? Chairman, make a motion that we approve the application as written. Motion by Mr. Kearns. Motion by Mr. Kearns. Approved. Seconded by Mr. Burton. Roll call vote. Yes to approve. Oh, Mr. Homefeld, you are recused on that. I you know what you want to be? Yes, sir. Mr. Homefeld, recused. Mr. Burton? Uh, approved. Mr. Yes, approved. Yes, approved. Mr. Castello, <laughs> approved. Uh, Mr. Kern, yes, sir. And Mr. Stein, yes, sir. Approved. Motion carries four with one uh, recusal. Okay, back to the hearing. Next item on the hearing is that of 1504, Rich and Katie Mucha, 54 Patrick Street, seeks extension of a non conforming use, 43576A. Side yard required 15 feet, provided 1.5. Also requires we need a total side yard 35 feet, required 9.5, provided. Subject premises located in the area of the zone. Is Rich or Katie Mucha or the representative thereof? No. Great. Welcome. Please state your name and address for the record. Rich Mucha, 54 Patrick Street. Patrick Welcome, Mr. Mucha. Mr. Mucha? Mucha. Mucha. Welcome, Mr. Mucha. Uh, do you have your certificates of mailing for the neighbors? I do. Great. If you just give that to Kara. Mailing the one of the receipts you got back. Got it. And please explain your application to the board, Mr. Muka. What are you trying to do? Are you trying to bump out the rear of the house? Uh, I want to put on, it's a second floor addition, so it's going to go over the existing first floor. Um, overhang the back by about two feet. Due to the existing property line on an angle, bumping back is going to put me closer to the property line by two inches. Gotcha. So it's actually, it's a second story addition is, is what you're yes. trying to do. Yep. And that second story addition is actually going to hang to the south more over the house? Yes. Gotcha. Yeah, the current setback is 1.7. When I hang back to two feet, it's 1.5. 1.5, gotcha. Uh, Mr. Burton, did you see that? Is oh yeah, I see that. Gotcha. Yes. Square in the house over the back there. Yep. Any questions from members of the board? You're continuing the same line of the house, though, you're not? Yeah, I'm just I'm that. holding that side. It's just due to the angle of the property. It's, it's a small piece of property. It, it, I'm just going to bring that out. It's very small. Yeah. You know, it's, yeah. It's, I know it's, overall footprint is really not growing. I'm good. Again, there's a first floor there, so. Right. Where, uh, what's the square feet of this? Oh, there it is. Was that, it's only 3,000? No, no, not 3,000. Yeah, hold up. The area. Oh, yeah. This is one of the. No, no, no. no yeah, the yeah, property. No, you see it there? It's listed. Area. Yeah, 3,900. Yeah, 3,934 square feet. That's the whole property. Yeah, yeah, that's the entire piece of property. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You have that's only 40 true. foot frontage. That's a big truck. That. Do you know when that house was built? The, or the, the when the predecessor of it or whatever. I mean, I did the the renovation in the, the first second floor about eight years ago. And but before that, there was a house that was there. There was a yeah, a small bungalow. Small bungalow. You don't know when that was put up. No so suffice to say, there's been a house on that property for a long time. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 There was actually a barn back there as well that came down with a dental permit. So right, there was more coverage at one point in time. Wow. Okay. Great. Mr. Stein, any questions? Oh, yes, Mr. Stein. I'm looking at your, your survey, the way you have it uh, laid out, the second floor, the proposed second floor. Okay. Um, it looks to extend over the first floor also on the west side of the house. Is that correct? Am I reading this right? No, it's the uh, this is existing boiler room. That's the, the line I'm going to hold. You're going to fall because you're drawing underneath. Looks like it's, it's over 1.1 feet. Yeah, I understand, yeah. 
So my question is, are you going directly on top of the first floor? Other than the cantilever out the south, yes. your east and west lines are going to be directly on top? Yes. The existing, I mean, the west side, the existing second floor cantilevers. I mean, you are cantilevering on the west side. To match the existing yeah. second floor, yes. It's going to be the one foot there. Right, one point, one. Well, that, we got 11.3 feet. So yeah, well, the yeah, west yeah. side, I don't know. I just wanted to make sure it's the east side. Right, it's yeah. the east side of Wilkinson. Yeah. yeah. Any other questions from members of the board? Any member of the public who would like to speak for or against Mr. Richard's application? Have I seen that, Councillor? You're not related to the distinguished modern artist with the same name? No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> My grandmother used to claim me work, but we're not. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know my liberal arts background will come into uh, question. Okay. Okay. Great. Thank you. 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 I did. I did. Oh, I did. I did. Okay. Okay. Uh, motion to uh, close the application. Put on a decision. Motion made by Mr. Cohen to close the application. Mr. Cohen, second by Mr. Holmfeld. All in favor? Aye. 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 None opposed. So carried. Thank you very much. Mr. All right. Thank you. Have a good night. Good night. Good night. The next application will be that of 14-20, Fofo Toys, Tim Laredo of 911 Railroad Avenue seeks permission to renew a special permit for a nightclub cabaret used pursuant to 435-21A1. Such a premises is located in the D3 business zone. Members of the public, members of the board, counselor, I am recused on this application is that uh, my family has an interest in a piece of property that's within 200 feet of the application. So with that, I'm gonna turn it over to Mr. Holmfeld. I'm also going to bid you a good night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Holcomb. Welcome back, gentlemen. As, uh, per, the, per the letter that was sent out to you last week at this, uh, last week's meeting, um, we reopened it the application just so we could read into the record the uh, Suffolk County Police Report. Um, we also gave you notice that we did that in order for you to respond if you chose to. I'm assuming you choose to, because you have to. We're here. So we'll respond. Are you going to read it into the record now? Or We've done the last meeting. Okay. Do you have a copy of that? Yeah. Yes. Would you just take a look at it? Thank you, sir. The report is from January 1st, 2014 to December 31st. 2014. So this is one year. This is one year worth of um, Did they have a burglar? Mm -hmm. Somebody burglar on the point in the 14th? Oh, that's right. That's it. So um fine investigations and all you guys have any other specifics on these? Well, that's it. That's yeah. it. This, this is all we got. Okay, so this is. Uh, will you be able to obtain this on a on a yearly basis? Well, Same it looks one. again. I think if uh, one were to move in the direction of requiring things from you on a regular basis, in other words, your participation in what's happening and you know. Uh, I, um, These are real vague. I know, we understand your point. In other words, they're just, it's just the, kind of a list of things. My suggestion with the um, sure. incident reports might come into factor when we, when we sit next sure. year and I'll have a, a case file on all these. So we can right. match it up and we can start right. some type of detail. Yep. We had sure. mentioned, I think, this in passing that we had requested it in one of the meetings. Yes, we did. So we did receive it, so we just wanted to make sure. Yeah, I just, I, a couple of, couple of quick comments. And, it, 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 you see it in a total of 90 calls or incidences. Now, if you break it down, it looks like you have a long issues with the alarm system, that's 17. If you only have, it looks like two assaults. Uh, the burglary, obviously, somebody burglarized our place. Civil disputes, only two. And only one criminal possession of a controlled substance. Um, general disturbances, you know, we, we talked about the size of the place, the area that, that Emporium encompasses, and the fact that a lot of stuff goes on outside, and we, we happen to be the location. Um, just for the record, I don't, 
I think relative to you know a year in business and the size of the place and, the, and our location, I I don't think this is uh, uh, that concerning, especially the drug the drug uh, situation is, is very low. It seems to me uh, average for the size of the place we have. Okay. We just wanted to give you a chance to yeah. respond to it. Yeah, I, I would just look at the, the type of thing, 80 cases, that could be any. Um, just consider the uh, uh, the uh, the comments we put on the record before our location and, and how we encompass an entire block. Um, so we're probably getting a few from uh, everybody else when people are walking down to the railroad station and walking out of the back of Meatball. It just happened to be in the parking lot in general. So. Yeah. Um, but again, I would point out we only have one only one drug call in a year. I think that's uh, I think that's uh, that's not bad. It shows that we're we're actually watching that, and we do have a, a program where we, we we watch who comes in, and we we do uh, we do search, and we do um, we do pack down people coming in and out of that place. So uh, within our our walls, we have it pretty much under control. We're willing to improve that and work with the village, uh, as, as Mr. Laredo stated, uh, create our own explanation when the reports happen, maybe on a quarterly basis, and then you know we'll have a record of it when we come and come back in and uh, revisit these applications on time okay. mind you um but I mean, we had an incident on friday for example 45 year old woman school teacher in the patchwork school district she was on painkillers had a drink passed out the ambulance not on one call she left in the ambulance you know now i have this incident report that really defines exactly what happened and transpired mm -hmm. So it's, it will shed some light on, on all these calls. So mm -hmm. I'll have an active um, active file on it, which I can submit to Carol on a quarterly six month basis. So when we come up here again, if you guys get another report for next year, we'll be able to dissect what the incidents were. Break that down a little bit. Yeah. Right. Okay. You know, it seems to me like, you know, you guys say you're serious about what you want to do here. You know, if you follow through on that, mm -hmm. it won't be, yeah. We won't have trouble remembering what each one of these are. We'll have our own internal incident report. Yeah, you know, just again, not bad. It's our third year. We're in our third year, so uh, there's always room for improvement. And we're willing to do that and work with uh, the list. And I want to bet. I mean, it's my belief that these, if we had uh, this type of report from year one, year two, and year three, this is. I'm sure this is substantially down from prior years because obviously the the attendance and. Um, the amount of people traveling to location is, is significantly decreased. So I'm sure that this would be probably you know, pretty well. It would be interesting to see the first two years. Uh, I'm sure the first I'm two sure years we can get it if we really want it. I think it's what's relevant right now though. Yeah. All right. Any members of the board have anything else to add to it? Do I have any public? Do I ask public? Is there any public that would like to speak for or against this reopening? of the application based on our Southern County Police Incident Report. Yes, sir. I'd like to see the report. I'm not much of a report. Oh. We got it last week, two weeks last ago. Week. Two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Two The last week. Two weeks ago. Two Four. What? February 4th. I don't think you were here. No, I, I, I missed that one. So I'm, <laughs> I, you know, I'm somewhat of a disadvantage. I just want to look this up real quick. So, you know, actually, uh, the point made by the owners, it was well taken. Without having individual reports, it's a little hard to assess all of this. Um, I do want to say that I haven't seen the code enforcement reports, however, and you are free to look at them all over again, see if our memory is correct, incorrect. But I believe most of those 80 cases, the individuals indicated they were not wandering around from another location, but were customers of the employment. So just if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but if I'm right, um, you can attribute, I'm sure there's some people wandering around, maybe they wind up at the door of the employment, but I remember those reports 
and it seemed to be customs from the informant. Whether the customs of the Emporium are here or not, those only the CC, only the individual reports will actually tell for sure. I don't know if you've got time to get them. If you don't, you know, you have to, you have to do what you, you have to deal with what you got. So, all right, thanks very much. Who's copy was it? Thanks, sir. Okay, we'll so they want to do they want to speak to those or we have a little further okay, fair enough. Thank okay. You. We, we do appreciate you guys coming back yeah, down again. Oh, Motion is Jim. Yes, we can we uh, close the application. Can we start the decision calendar? Second. Second by Mr. Burton. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Application closed. I'm based on the decisions and uh, requirements for probably sending us a letter based on our... Yes, yeah, we have 62 days yeah, within yes. which to render a decision. Mm -hmm. uh, it'll be in writing and naturally it'll be sent a copy. Okay, thank you. Good night. Good night. Yes, Mr. Carrington. Motion is challenged. We close the next meeting. No, 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 no